Can do we want to do you want to watch this uh this as video? Do you want to do that or go to like trailer dump or something? I mean, we could we could do both. It's only like a two and a half minute uh, clip here. All right, yeah, let's do. It. I don't know because we don't usually cover games, but yeah, you know, this, I'm not this really a gamer. Like, I don't really. This just blew up the internet, and I was just annoyed by this whole thing. Yeah, this guy annoys me in general, mainly because uh, I don't trust him because he claims that I saw him as one of the greatest comic books ever written, <laughs> and uh, I... I've read it, and I would disagree very very strongly. I think he's a fucking hack. No. I was watching a, uh, a Friday Night Tights, and he literally started putting on clown makeup during the middle of it. I was like, Jesus. Well, at least fucking... it was appropriate. Yeah, this fucking you try hard little bitch. He is. He like I used to watch Friday Night Tights and shit. He was always one of my least favorite ones. Like I kind of liked him at the beginning, and then I was like, this guy's just kind of annoying. He just wants to talk over everybody. Yeah. But then then uh, Quarter Black Jarek took took over that fucking mantle of just talking over every fucking person. Yeah. And it's the least interesting one. I he's not funny. Quir no, Quir Quir Black Jarek, he's, Crowder. he's the opposite of fun. dude. Like. Every now and then, a ministry will watch some of his skits, and we're just all of us are just banging our heads on the fucking table, going, "Where's the fucking joke?" <laughs> it's not. He, he's like a uh, fucking Crowder's Padawan. He's like, "I'll teach you." <laughs> <laughs> now I am the master of cringe. All right. Show me, show me your cringe, my master. I just want to say something to you, Bethesda. Just want to say a little, little something. There is nothing I love more. Take my headphones off. Fuck that, Bethesda. There is. God, he looks like a right testicle. Dude, he looks like a fucking knob, a doorknob that's melting. He is. Fucking knobhead. Dude, he couldn't even get, like, he's got, like, somebody sent him a, a fucking custom-made heel versus babyface LED sign with, like, this weird, like, pattern thing. He mm -hmm. couldn't figure out if he would just turn off his overhead light and point his light, like, his, his key light, they would call it the biz, away from that sign towards, like, a shelf. He could have lit the shelf, lit himself, and that sign in the background could have actually looked right instead of like a bleached out fucking asshole. Sorry, I, yeah. I, I get annoyed at people doing terrible lighting. <laughs> it's, it's really dumb, I know. Nothing love your I love more than to, to, to sit down, comfy chair, turn on my PC, fire up a brand new RPG, uh, uh, lose... <laughs> yeah, Nacho, this is Eric's retarded fat British cousin. <laughs> <laughs> if he just turned hard left. <laughs> I don't think, oh my God, just Did you hear what he just said? The only the thing he loves, nothing he loves more than just like sitting down and playing video games. Uh, You're like I, fifty some years old. Yeah, I can think of a lot of things I'd rather do. Than so play many video other games. things. I mean, I don't mind the occasional video game, but it's like I go in like phases, right? Where like I'll I'll play video games for like six months, and then mm. not touch them again for five years. <laughs> it's like, yep, yeah, I'm all video gamed out. Got a, I got I, an adult life with I do shows. I have a full time job. Uh, I've got a, a girlfriend, you know, I, I, my time's taken up. I really don't have a lot of time for video games. Yeah. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like video games. I get a little too into them. That's why I don't play them that much. But it's, it, it, to me, it just feels like somebody, the, you know, the, just giving you a carrot to do nothing. Like it, you don't accomplish anything. You don't do it. It's just, it's a lot of yeah. it, uh, a dopamine and you don't accomplish anything. I don't begrudge people for playing video games. It's just the people that make it like their entire existence. Like, see, because of their personality, I yeah. don't understand it. And this guy's like, acting yeah, like it's it, he's talking about walking in and getting a blowjob. Yeah, he says it's literally his favorite thing in the world is the play. I know, video. I know, he's probably speaking pathetic. hyperbole for the sake of the video, because he's a little dramatic, fucking you know, bold egg. But yeah, he's, he does look like a talking egg. Yeah, I'm not taking him completely serious on all that. It's just it's it's hackney. I lose myself, think, oh no, my god, well, he, 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 you kind of do. Look how much he freaks out in this video. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, you're good of this world just think of all the planets i can visit all the immersive things that i can get involved with all the fights all the relationships all the people i meet all the places i go i'm so excited to go there and you know i love nothing more than with all of that laid out in front of me i love nothing more than to be dragged out at every fucking conceivable opportunity so you can fucking current day us how dare you you have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. Gay? Okay. Yeah, really, Jesus, dude. Calm You're the fuck an adult. Down. Like, I get like we we like, and he's in the same kind of shit that we do here. We talk about media and stuff like that. But I don't like. I don't care if they try to current day us, as long as it's good. Yeah. Like, I don't care about these fucking buzzwords. 
the girl bosses and the woke is like tell me what is wrong with the fucking story tell me what's wrong if it's a game tell me what's wrong with the mechanics he i think this whole thing's him bitching about having to choose pronouns right yeah yeah right in the beginning of the game like i said a couple things that's a thing that's just like you'd be like see it go whatever click click what you want click click the thing and you just roll your eyes that's not i know this is like I, this is fucking clickbait shit yeah it, and we're falling for it too god damn it no he's got he got a boner of how like how many people like how well this thing was shared and everything else i was like you fucking little dick you try hard little dork yeah yo what up goose Sorry, did you want to get immersed in our world? Yeah, well, guess- Goose says Ethan Van Syver is the only cool one from that crowd. I like Ethan. He actually follows me on Twitter, and then he got suspended. So, I mean, there goes one of my famous follower. Uh, the guy does Cyberfrog. Um, don't know what that is. He did the- It's a comic book. He did the- the, uh, the I don't know if he did the, all the art for it, but he, no, I know he at least did the cover for uh, Green Lantern Rebirth. Like, you know, in DC, like, they, they reboot their shit every couple years. The one in, like, the mid-2000s to mid-teens was called Rebirth, I think. And, like, he did, like, a lot of cool shit in that. Like, he uh, he worked on the uh, the War of, of uh, Light, uh, the green the big Green Lantern War that uh, Jeff Jones... Right, I'm going on. I'm not, I don't know Yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's one of my favorite story arcs, the War of Light. That's what? <laughs> Fucking pronouns! Fucking gender ambiguity! Fucking current-day Californian shit! Cause that's all we fucking know. Cause we're boring. We're so you're spinning. Fucking you're spinning, you fat fuck. Oh god, dude. What's going on? What's with the dude? Oh god, he's concocting, folks. He looks like an. Now he looks like an angry cowboy. That's one of the reasons why I love Prism. Boring! <laughs> we can't see past our own fucking reflection! I know you can't. That's why we don't watch you no more, bro. Yeah. That's your tummy, buddy. Everything is woke this and woke that and girl boss this and girl boss... I don't fucking care! Dude, that's what I was worried about. I, I know you say, you know, people kind of come here to watch us get a little angry sometimes. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't want to become this. Well, I'm not going to get angry over something that is just eye-roll worthy. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what they're saying. Um, I know, I, and I, I like pushback against this kind of thing. I just don't want to make it part of the fucking culture war. If people don't like the game, <sighs> they want a refund. Fuck the culture great. wars. It's all fucking it's so, gay. We're not in it. We already lost, guys. Heads up. We lost. <laughs> <laughs> we're in occupied territory. Everything sucks. Well, the only way to win the, uh, the culture war is if Hollywood goes under from these strikes. Like, the whole fucking business just tanks. Yeah. That'd be a win on the culture war. Because now the they can't shove war. that shit into our face anymore. But then you'd have to get rid of, like, you have to fix social media, which the only way to fix these things is for them to go under. Yeah, exactly. And they're not because they're always going to get a bailout mm -hmm. every fucking time. And the thing was, like, four or five years ago, maybe even longer, all these guys were counter counter culture. Mm -hmm. Like, they, you know, they were, you know, you go to YouTube, they got a bunch of sponsored fucking people that would never speak out against Disney, never. Uh, give light criticism because they don't want you know they get special access to this and that and these guys came out of nowhere like four or five years ago some have been doing a lot longer I get it but it really started popping um, when these movies started sucking the message got really pushed hard mm -hmm. and they were the only ones like kind of talking about it I blame Ryan Johnson for these fuckers every single one of them Ryan Ryan Johnson it's, it's Ryan but it's spelled like a, a granola bar I, yeah. well I say it like yeah he's, he's a dork no, I get that. That's that's what I mean. Everybody else is like, oh, Star Wars is so great. These guys are like, no, this fucking sucks. And they were the only ones doing it. Mm -hmm. And now it's like tips. Now the culture has shifted and nobody likes anything. Yeah. So now you're screaming about the message that nobody fucking likes. They already see it. So it's all this, the marketing with the fucking ISOM thing. It's like you made it about culture war. It's same way, I'm not going to say anything about the, the comic book. I don't know comic books. I don't give a shit. But the marketing of it aspect of it is like, yeah, that was genius. You made millions yeah. of dollars, man. Awesome. Great marketing strategy. But you guys Terrible are comic. Fucking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are getting so bogged down for the same shit you've been doing over and over. And, and you know what? Nobody, nobody was saying it five, six years ago. And you guys, you know, congrats. You fucking. Dude, you, you really see it with uh, or Az and Gary from Nerdrotic. Yeah. They just say the same shit over and over. It's like, I get it. It is being shoved in the shit. 
but you can criticize that stuff without sounding like a fucking woman. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're, they they haven't evolved with the the current culture, and I'm saying I have or anything. I don't know. I'm I'm way more evolved. <laughs> Functionally, yeah. Power wise, I am I am a, <laughs> I am a superhuman. But I'm just saying, it's like even I'm like I we've been barely doing this for a year, and I'm I'm getting tired of saying woke. I don't, yeah. and I'm I'm I don't like how hypersensitive I am to this shit too. That I'm noticing it. I do my best not to bring it up, and only bring it up when it's so ridiculous or it's funny. Well, one of the reasons why we notice it so bad is because it's just poorly implemented every time like if you wanted a trans character in your movie or show or whatever you could make there be a good reason why there's a trans person in this fucking story yeah, nobody but, would care i mean boy was it boys don't cry that was like a fucking indie hit in like the 90s and that's about a tranny mm -hmm. so it's like you just gotta do it well like get us invested in these characters like i cannot fucking watch gay shit it just it grosses me out and disgusts me but I, I used to love shameless right yeah me too yeah exactly and it's like they got you invested in those characters and like you'd be like ah but like yeah, but afterwards you'd be like good for you bud <laughs> you know? like, all right, yeah it's still funny I, I never said i never said good for you well it's uh -huh. like you know like we, a guy gets laid and we're like yeah man good for you bud and it's like yeah good for you well, i guess no, it was uh he was banging an indian a married indian dude it was kind of sad I, was, I I just remember the uh, when he's begging the fucking bully, his his bully turns oh, out to be that, his, that, his first okay. gay lover or whatever. Yeah. Not even his first one, but like his first boyfriend. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, yeah. like the abusive relationship between those two, I was that was hilarious. <laughs> the, it had a decent yeah it began, but you're like, all right, I got to deal with this, but then I'm gonna see his sister naked, so it's that's uh, okay. Um, but then that show went yeah just annoyingly. I don't want to say it wasn't even woke. It's just so off the rails in every direction. Yeah, like, I stopped I watching when she real. became a landlord. Yeah, that's when, uh, right after that, I did the same. I didn't even make then, it to that season. season. I didn't make it to that. Even season, like, the last two couple seasons, like, I, well, I, you know, I, I, I don't, no, nobody in this family is, uh, everybody in this family sucks, and it's not funny to watch anymore. Yeah. If, it, it got it, repetitive. It, it was one of those shows where, like, it would have done better if it was, like, five seasons and done. Like, have a big finish. Mm -hmm. you know, exactly. I, I know the British one went on for fucking ever, but... Either Brit British shows are like anime. Either it's like seven episodes or it's two hundred. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> well, the, the problem with this was is they they went for the 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 shock value of how bad the the that um hell's his name uh, William uh, H Macy uh, yeah how bad he Frank was Reynolds the, not Reynolds Frank Frank, Frank, uh, Frank uh, Gall Gallagher yeah Frank Gallagher dude he was and, the, the best part of the show for a lot of it yeah but it, it, they kept upping his insanity yeah and it's just like it got to the point where all right I would shoot this guy and I was like he's just scum. Giving him a black cape was fucking hilarious. <laughs> and, and, and it being his kid somehow. Yeah. <laughs> but but again, going back, yeah, they got out of it because they, they it was good writing. You got invested in the characters. You didn't like what you saw, but it was like, all right, this is a scum scumbag drug family in Chicago. You know, it probably turns out probably one of them is going to be that way and bipolar. So it kind of makes sense. I think my favorite, like, little, I know we're, we've kind of gone off on a tangent here, but I think one of my favorite storylines from that show was the, what was the youngest brother's name? Liam? Or, no, not, no, not, that was a black one. Yeah, that's the, the one right above him. Um, shit, dude, it's been a while. You know what I'm talking about, though, the, the fucking little thuggy kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, like, to prison? <laughs> yeah, he goes to prison, gets a, a black kid, like a giant black, it looks like a young Patrice O'Neill, mm -hmm. and, like, comes out and they're like selling guns at school and shit <laughs> dude but that was the turn of that that season was so heartbreaking when he like murders that guy's family with a hammer for yeah. stealing his bike and he you could tell he feels fucking awful about it but it's the only <laughs> thing he knows to do and he like tells <laughs> tells us uh the fucking thuggy kid like man get out of here like i gotta go back to prison like I'm fucked up, man. <laughs> you're like dude your heart just breaks for that fact after he murdered a family with a hammer <laughs> Yeah, that's what they were really good at, man. They were, uh, the first few seasons like that, and 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 it was whole, it was played off so funny where the kid went to jail, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Oh, you think you'll finally learn his lesson?" It's like, "Fuck no!" no it comes out a, a, a bigger criminal. Yeah, he comes out so a bigger like, criminal. <laughs> no, not only that, they, they even say it was like, he's like, "Oh, you think you'll learn his lesson?" And it, right in that scene, they go, "Are you fucking kidding?" In a couple weeks, he's probably gonna be running the place. <laughs> <laughs> and he won. He got it. Dude, that, I gotta go back and watch those first couple of seasons again. Yeah, right. it goes off the rails when you go for that shock value bullshit. Yeah, and they did it really well for the first few seasons. But if you gotta up it every season, it's you're, you're just gonna destroy. Yeah, 
the likability of a character, and it's not if it's not Breaking Bad, where how bad he is is part of the entertainment mm. of how this guy is just losing his soul to this thing. Uh, it's it, that's a different story. You want to, it's a family. You don't want this guy to be like a fucking serial killer scumbag. You want him to be likable somehow. Yeah, like uh, fuck. I, I had a thought and I, I just lost it. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Just let it go. Of- All right, let's finish this video real quick, and then we'll watch we'll watch a trailer before we get out of here. That's the level of our narcissism here. It says the Western Game Company. How dare you! Fuck your immersion. Fuck you having a good time. Fuck you falling into a world and just getting lost. No, no, no. Current fucking day. Fuck off. How dare you. You're boring. You're fucking dull. You have nothing to say. You are a one hived mind twat waffle. <laughs> You're describing yourself, you That's fat all you fuck. It, 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 that's what like, I've started noticing with these people. Like, a lot of these people project real hard. Yeah, real hard. And it's it's just what? insecurities. And I feel like a lot of this is he's playing. He like he probably did go uh, whatever, and then like played mm-hmm. on. But he's like, oh no, you know what? That'd get a lot of clicks. Starfield is woke. Starfield makes you select your pronouns. It's like it's literally a checkbox. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> if I was playing it, I would roll my eyes and go, oh, this is lame. Yeah. And then exactly. continue to play the game. Now, if they implemented that in a lot of stories, because I've seen, I've heard people say that the Starfield story is pretty good. I don't know. I don't fucking care that much. I didn't like Skyrim. I know I, it makes me an outsider. That's fine <laughs> if you like it. I just don't like open world games a lot of times. I find them like annoying and just like tedious. I like I like those. I like that. I like immersing myself in that. That's why I don't play exactly. it. Like, you know, for hours. Yeah, it's like I get why people like them. I just feel like I'm wasting my time usually. Exactly, I get that point. And so I, I just I, I avoid them. <laughs> I prefer more linear style games, like, you know, the Arkham games and Charter games. I know that's, like, very surface level. Like, I like the Deus Ex games, which those were kind of open world, but they were really good at keeping you attached to that main storyline. Hmm. Like, you weren't just yeah, running they... off to do whatever the fuck because you didn't give a shit about the storyline. Well, dude, not only that, they've backed themselves into a corner where they 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 can't deviate from the their own message. They mm-hmm. have their own message now of anti-woke, anti-this, so they can't even say they like something. And, like, I'm not going to say... I'm not gonna say I'm better than that, but you've seen I've been blocked by both sides of this whole fucking um, internet. Or uh, well, nobody likes you, Ken. I'm sorry. Yeah, me and Simp are the See? only people on the internet. That like you. That's weird because I don't like either one of you. So it's super weird. I mean, whatever. <laughs> what, do do? <laughs> what I'm saying is like they can't do that. That's impossible for them to do. Like they would just follow one narrative. I was like, all right, I agree with this, but I'm gonna fucking challenge you on that. And then I got both sides hate my guts. And that's fine. I'm not, I didn't, I, that wasn't my goal, but it was like, you know, I, I had minimal criticism of this whole fucking thing, and I get fucking destroyed by both sides. It's like, all right, well, now you guys are both being kind of gay about this. So, yeah. I, I mean, know, I'm saying it's a good thing to be hated by people. I'm saying you can't forge your own path, is what I mean. You can't do your own thing. You got to follow the thing, because that's what gets you clicks. Yeah. You know, your little clickbaity bullshit. That's why, so at this point, I, I, out of all these nerd tubers, like, Drinker and Maul are the only two that I, I have any shred of respect for as terms of like broadcasters and streamers like Mahler like doesn't just yell woke 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 he li- like he just released a video a couple days ago it's a six hour breakdown of Ant-Man Quantumanium and why it's the fucking dumbest thing ever made <laughs> he's meticulous and very detailed about yeah. what is wrong with him, and you never hear him bring up woke this woke that girl boss it's just how does this make sense for the character how does this make sense for the story how does it make sense to the things you established previously? Like, he actually is one of the only cr- critics on YouTube, I think. Like, especially in that sphere. Like, I'm sure there's a bunch of smaller ones that we just don't know about. But, I mean, yeah, like, exactly. at that level, there's no one else that beats him. Like, and no, I, Drinker is really I, good at doing the same thing, but distilled down to, like, a 10, 15-minute video. Yeah, I like Drinker. He goes to the well a little much, but, you know, mm. he, he's got almost 2 million followers. But, so, you know, don't, my God, don't take my advice. Um, but yeah, he's not, he does the, the, you know, the gimmicky shit, but then he breaks down the story and why it kind of doesn't make sense. If he does it, you know, a little, with a little more flair and a little more, uh, comedic aspect than Mahler, obviously, in way he, shorter time. He basically does what, like, the, like, neurotic and, like, as try to do. He does, he'll bring up the woke stuff, but he doesn't harp on it. He breaks yeah. down why it's good and bad. 
<laughs> yeah, he knows what works and what doesn't. Yeah, and he focuses more on the narrative, not the 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 bullshit. He'll point it out, but it's more like he's annoyed that he's got to point that part out. He'd rather dissect the story mm-hmm. and the aspects of developing a good story and why something works and why something doesn't. Yeah, if you and listen to his streams, like when he, they're talking about movies and stuff on, the, on his live streams, they don't talk about like he specifically won't talk about the wokeness shit a lot. Like sometimes his panel uh, panelists will, but yeah. he he doesn't harp on the woke. Sh- he's just like. No, it just doesn't make sense. This is stupid. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And him and Waller, that's why they team up, I think, mm-hmm. a lot. because they know how to dissect the story and not focus so much on the... It's low-hanging fruit is what it is. Like, yeah, you know what? I'll give it to them back in the day around when Trump came president and shit, and they were just... The left couldn't do, know how to handle it. And big yeah. tech, everything in big tech was the left. And people were losing their channels. You'd have people coming after you, trying to dox you, take your money. Now it's so it's so prevalent and everywhere. It's just yeah, like, there's some of the biggest streamers on the fucking platform. Exactly, that's what I mean. It's just like yeah, you were brave back in the day. You were blazing kind of a trail, kinda, and now it's just it's the same shit over and over. And now mm. you guys are a collective, and you just attack anybody that like differs from your opinion or goes after your fucking comic books. Yeah, I think what it is is like I don't like it when people turn their opinion into essentially a religion. Just what this anti woke. It's just as much of like a thing as the woke side is. It's like you're not being better than you're just being the same but opposite. Yeah, you're just annoyingly pointing it out and saying how bad it's it is. It's like we get it. Over. All their gay propaganda shit is in like everything now. You don't have to point it out because it looks like a fucking neon sign most of the time. You can they point out why it doesn't make sense why this character's gay or what doesn't make sense. Why does a Spider Gwen or whatever the fuck her name is have a trans flag in the back of her thing? Is she supposed to be trans? I never say it. Why was it there? Like, that's more of like, oh my God, look at the trans flag. They're trying to make it by trans. Trying to make it by inspirement trans. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I just want to die sometimes, you know? <laughs> right, yeah, it's annoying. I get it. And I don't know what the, what the, I don't have the answers either. I'm not saying we do, but it's just like, fuck, man. It, it changes style. It's, it, we get it. Trans, everything. We can see it. Nobody in the world can't see it. We're all, the people that are going to be annoyed by it are annoyed by it. It, it make find a way to make it either funny or destroy the narrative. Don't just fucking point it out. Yeah, it it, it gets tiresome. I understand why they do it. They found the buzzwords that make them money. And exactly, that's what it is. It's a niche. It's a ne- our niche. You would have never gotten to this place if you didn't actually have real opinions. Like I feel like if one of these motherfuckers were just like honest with Eric July, it would drive a lot of traffic to their fucking channel. They just gave an if say as from Eel, heel versus babyface gave an honest review of I saw him and was like I like Eric July as a friend I, I don't want to hurt his feelings but this comic book is awful people would be like what it was like drive like when you get like the, the drama traffic you know people going oh shit maybe Eric reacts poorly to it and they have a little back and forth where as is keeping the higher ground because she's like I'm not trying to hurt your feelings man I'm just trying to be honest with you so you make better comic books in the future. Like, they can't do that. They got their shirts on. They're all invested. Uh, in them. Yeah, I, I got. I, w- I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not saying they are. I've never heard actual rumors that they are, but wouldn't be surprised if uh, if Gary and As here didn't actually have fucking money in Ripaverse. I I in the last month I have not seen Nerdrotic wear anything but a rip a Ripaverse shirt. Mm-hmm. I feel like <laughs> it could be explained away though by there's so many haters now. You know he's he's trying to support his boy, but it's like. Dude, like, if I, if I try to make a comic, Ken, and it turns out to be shit, don't fucking pat me on the head. Like, well, that, but that's why it? you send the script and the proofs out to people that you trust and say, yeah, but all, read this. Well, that gets thrown out the window when you make, like, almost $4 million. Mm-hmm. Before they're you ever trying to, put... They're trying to bite that fucking tit, man. They're all trying to, they're trying to get on that train. They don't care if it's good or bad. It's like, These people make enough money on their own. Like, I get it. They, they probably want more money. But it's like, my dignity and integrity is not for sale. Like, I'm always going to try to be honest about what I feel about things. And sometimes the way I feel about, you know, certain media or whatever might change over time. I'll be honest about that, too. I may hate something up front and then years later learn to love it. Or like in the case of Dark Knight, I loved it at the beginning and now I kind of hate that movie. <laughs> my dignity is absolutely for sale. Uh, the price is five million dollars. I believe whatever you want me to believe. <laughs> but I'm honest about that. I don't. I don't. I'm not hiding that fact. Video. Fucking ah! And you wonder why people are getting so fucking sick and tired 
You take everything we love, all our emotions, all our fantasies. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. All our escapism, and you just can't help shovel your dog shit fucking crap ideology. Dude, pause into it for a second. As he's doing it, you take our fantasies. All I can hear is, you've stolen my hopes and my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make that fucking clip on, uh, on uh, Twitter. <laughs> See. You've stolen my hopes and my dreams. I did this joke the other day, but I think it applies here too. It still works. Let's <laughs> 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 see, see if they have a. Uh, <laughs> it just fucking works too well. Too well. <laughs> oh, you're really going for it, huh? I'm sorry, he's fat. I mean, like, I'm not even trying to be that mean. I was bigger than this guy at one point. There's not any fat, he's soft. And he's got that fat guy, <laughs> Cartman rain, or rage. I'm not doing it. <laughs> he does. When you clip this skin, you gotta put some Cartman clips in here. <laughs> Make fun of him with clips from South Park. Uh, when he, when he, when he gets all oiled up and starts running away from the guy <laughs> trying to give him a vax. <laughs> <laughs> Everything! Every single solitary fucking thing! I don't even believe that you're angry. Oh, no, I don't, no, I've I don't I've see it in the eyes. Him, he's so fucking fake. That's the other thing that's pissing me off. Like, um, I you know, I don't want to be the angry fucking guy either, but this is so put on and fucking fake. He did this for the clicks. Mm -hmm. This is like one of those assholes in like Daily Wire or you know, like Josiah Riot, or whatever the fuck the guy's name is. So and so destroys blank. And it's just a guy saying no to something. And it just like so clickbaity fucking jerk off bullshit. I hate it. Yeah, I think I think we're done with that.